Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining and this is going to be your weekly love reading. Hi Taurus, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Okay, keep current energies of Six of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So this is energy of victory. This is energy of clarity I just got. This is energy of moving forward. This is energy of overcoming obstacles. This can also be energy of arrogance. Okay, this this is successful energy too, but we'll see what else. What's the current energy between divine masculine and divine feminine? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So there could have been a situation where somebody's arrogance or ego got, got into the way here of something. The five of cups is about regret. It's about remorse. It's about like somebody feeling sad here. Somebody's sad for something. Somebody's sad they didn't accomplish something here. What else? Two of cups. Look at that. This person is sad and like literally thinking about like the love that they have for you. The love they, this person knows. I, I'm feeling like this is the divine masculine, but again, flip and switch the roles where it fits for you. But this two of cups cancer energy is like, um, it's basically <laughs> very emotional energy. Okay. Somebody's really regretting that something didn't work out here and somebody wants to overcome these obstacles with you. But this person is thinking about how much you love them, um, how much they love you and, and how much they took that for granted, I feel like. Yeah, look at this shit. I can't make it up. They're, I'm telling you, this person is like four of cups, five of cups energy, having a real tough emotional time. Thinking about this quite a bit. Really, really emotional. It's like they didn't take this cup. So the spirit sent you this person and they didn't take this cup. Look at this. Wish fulfillment. Nine of cups. You were this was a wish fulfillment here. So somebody wants to come out of this regret, remorse, feeling like this person feels like it's too late and they may have missed out on the opportunity here. This person was focused on something else. I don't know what else it is they were focused on, but look at this. They want to talk. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. This person wants to communicate and talk. So if you have a conversation with them, then the conversation I feel like collective is going to be this person saying, listen, I'm sorry. Like, I'm in so much regret. You know what I mean? But let's see what, what energy follows this Page of Wands. Wow. Ten of Cups. Oh, my gosh. This is, wow. Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups. Wow, this person sees you as like having a family with you. This is there's a lot of cups here, by the way. There's a lot of emotional like. This person was confused. This person was confused. I don't know what they were confused about. Um, you someone here may also have options in love. You could be could have a new option and opportunity in love here. Okay, this is the the message spirit is telling you. Seven of Cups is choose wisely here, because I feel like one thing is new, and I kind of feel like there's some new energy here, and then I feel like this the past person who I feel like just kind of got in the way and let their ego get in the way. So like you may have a choice in between something because the Seven of Cups talks about dreams, it talks about illusions. So this person could be dreaming about you. They could have had a dream about like how you guys had a family, how you had a house, like, you know, you know, this person just sees you as like their Ten of Cups, which is happy, joy, um, wish fulfillment here. Like, you filled this person's cup in every way. The both, I mean, really, this person gave you the same. I feel like you gave each other the same thing. The opportunity was there. But I don't know what this person did to be in this five of cups, four of cups energy. I know they definitely didn't take advantage of the situation here, for sure. Um, the seven of cups could be illusions also. It could be options. It could be fear. But I just feel like um, this person might have just had a dream. They may come towards you and tell you they had a dream. All right, your spirit guys could be coming to them, and and, and this person's I, I don't know, maybe you're haunting this person's dreams at night. <laughs> it seems like it. Why is the seven of cups here? What's this? Why is the seven of cups here? All right, the world in reverse. This person can't move on, they can't let go. The world in reverse, they cannot move on and let go here. Show me more here about the seven of cups. 
Look at that, the chariot card. <laughs> They're coming towards you. They really want to overcome these obstacles. Cancer energy with the chariot. We also have the world energy, which is fixed sign energy. So you could be a Leo or dealing with a Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio here, or Taurus. Yeah, this person's coming. Let's clarify this chariot here. Becca, yeah, let's see. Look at this. You walked away. Somebody walked away. Like I said earlier, there was an, an, an energy of somebody walking away from a wish fulfillment. So this person walked away from a wish fulfillment, or you did, here. Apply this where this feels comfortable for you. Or this person could also be walking away from something else. Okay, for some of you all, this person's walking away from something else. So where is this person headed, spirit, in this chariot? Where is this person headed? Okay, towards judgment, making a decision. Another major arcana card here. This person's, okay, this judgment about what? Clarify judgment. Over conflict. Yeah, some form of conflict here. What's this conflict about? Okay, being honest. Somebody wants to, somebody wants to have a conversation with you and 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 make something right. Like I said, they're in this regret over something that they did. So some form of conflict that could have involved like numerous people. All right. So clarify this ace of swords. You know, because the Ace of Swords is about communication. The Ace of Swords is about clarity. The Ace of Swords, so again, this person may want to come towards you and have a conversation and say, hey, like, just be real with you and clear the air and say, hey, you know, I want to talk about this, this conflict here. Or, you know, this could be this person also trying to come out of their ego. This is Ace of Swords is also about victory here, overcoming something. There are a lot of cards here that scream like, overcoming something right somebody's trying to overcome something here especially with this cherry here this this uh six of wands and this ace of swords clarify this ace of swords Whoa. let's see the empress they want to tell you the divine feminine the truth and they're getting clarity about this divine feminine okay this person's getting clarity about who their divine feminine is and they're rushing towards you here. Knight of Swords energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy and Taurus energy with the Empress here. Let's clarify the world. Why is the world here? Whoa. Look at that. Ace of Cups. This person can't let go. This person can't let go. They didn't give you the love that they should have given you. And they know that. So how does this person, how does this divine masculine feel about this empress? How does this divine masculine feel about this empress here? Three of Cups, they want to reunite. They want to reunite with you, okay? You make them happy, you know? There are some things about community and warmth and friendship for some of you all this person may say, you know, like, I just want to be friendly with you, you know? Let's start from there. How does this person feel about this empress? Look at that. King of Cups. I'm telling you, the king, this is appropriate for the King of Cups to be here, especially with all these other cups on the board. This person loves you. This divine masculine is like definitely emotional in love with you here. Look at that. And look at what's on the bottom of the date. The Queen of Cups. You could be single right now. Look at that. Nine of Swords. Single, working on you. You could be traveling. You know, you're kind of calm and peaceful. Calm. Like, you've come out of the conflict, and I feel like you're kind of just doing your own thing, enjoying life here. You're taking a break. You're resting or vacationing or whatever. Just doing your own thing. I feel like you're healing. You're happy and content. Yeah, you're healing, happy, and content. Show me the energy here between the divine masculine and the divine feminine, please. All right, you have new love. So some of you guys, like I was saying, either this person wants to reconcile, I do feel like you, you're gonna have a choice in between both. That's the energy I'm seeing here. Rejection. Yeah, this, this person, especially with this four cups being here, this person definitely is afraid that you're going to reject them. All right, or this person, like I said, rejected you. This person may have rejected you, which I feel like they did. 
But the opportunity came when the divine masculine was presented to the divine, when the divine feminine was presented to the divine masculine, the divine masculine did not take the opportunity or treat the divine feminine as their divine counterpart. Abundance. All right. So you've done, you, I feel like the divine feminine, you've done the work here. Okay. You're getting new love. You're, you're, like I said, you're traveling. You're in nine of pentacles energy, very independent, self-reliant, enjoy your life. Some of y'all are traveling. Some of y'all just moved into a new home or, you know, bought a new car. You're doing your own thing. You're resting and healing and taking care of yourself. Whoa. Okay. We have protection. You are safe and divinely guarded. And then we have, this is a destined partnership here. This is a destined partnership. So I don't know if, uh, you know, this, this new love could be destined too, right? It makes sense because we did see the, the queen of cups and the uh, king of cups. Okay. So that could be your new person or your old person. But whoever this is, somebody is, like I said, obsessively gripped by thoughts of thinking about you all the time. I feel like this person is also having dreams about you, especially when... Um, we see the five of cups and the two of cups and the four of cups, especially with that seven of cups. It's like <laughs> the seven of cups and ten of cups is like definitely screaming at me, like obsessively thinking or dreaming about you or the, dreaming about the future that you could have had. Show me more of the energy here between the divine masculine and divine feminine, please, spirit guides. What else? Oh, Lord, what is going on? Somebody here may unexpectedly come towards you. Okay. There could be something that's happening that's going to be a shock. What else here for the divine masculine and divine? I told you this person's pride and ego allowed. That's what this was. Right out of the gate. When the divine feminine came towards the divine masculine, that's exactly what this divine masculine did okay that's exactly right so maybe something happened here there could have been for some of y'all there was a situation where somebody's put on their ass now because they allowed their ego to get in the way in a way to get in the way of the divine connection yeah i feel like as a divine feminine you defended yourself here. You stood your ground. You stood your ground. You know what I'm saying? You protected yourself. You stood your ground. And you, you're you like, no, this is not going to work for me. I'm not going to take this. I will move on and mind my own business. I'm self-reliant. I don't need this. Okay? Look at this. We have running away. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person ran away. Or you feel like the way they handled this is just immature. Or you could have ran away from it. Or you just, uh, I get this energy like, look at that. So somebody's been talking about you to someone here. Somebody's venting about their issues. This is the divine masculine that's doing this venting to their friends. That's what this is. This, this, that's this energy. Yeah, that's this energy. I didn't pick up on that. Uh, I got something else from it, but this makes total sense here too. Okay, there are some other karmic energy here. Some I don't I don't know who this is that's in this copycat energy here. Just, and yeah, there's some karmic energy here. Tantric sex, and then copycat. I feel like this person's dreaming about you. They could be having dreams of having sex, like I said, or having a family with you. I really feel like that's what it is. Um, copycat. That's somebody else's energy. So you may know if there's a third party or somebody around you or your person. There's some karmic energy. Okay. Somebody wants to be you, divine feminine. They wish they were like you. Okay. This says love story once upon a time. So, yeah, definitely energy of like a divine feminine, divine masculine connection, a true connection, right? Sexual protections. For some of you all, somebody here is, um, this is spirit saying protect yourself from this person uh, or you may feel like there's a need to protect yourself if you do have sex with this person just you know use protection um or somebody here need to be using protection i don't know what the drama is 
but I feel like this drama doesn't have anything to do with the divine feminine. This is this because divine feminine, you're showing up and uh, unbothered. Yeah, somebody here is promiscuous and sleeping around. So there could there's another karmic energy here in the background. So it's, it's giving me like your person basically chose someone else who's in this this energy who's promiscuous. You know what I'm saying? You could be in this spoiled energy living your best life too. And somebody else here is being promiscuous that sleeps around. And somebody is for the streets here. I know this is not you because you were in this four of swords, uh, nine of pentacles energy. That's, this ain't you. If you're, if you resonate as the divine feminine. Okay. So just put yourself where it goes. But somebody here, look at all this energy that they're in. They, they, they may look great. Your divine masculine could have been fooled by somebody that looked great. This person is really a copycat of you. Doppelganger. Straight doppelganger. This divine masculine could be figuring out this person's not who they say they are and were. And now they regret this. They let the pride and their ego get in the way and they, they allow their pride and their ego to see somebody who was in these heels acting all spoiled or like maybe this person acted like they had something that they don't really have. I don't know. You, you, you're, you'll know the situation and how it resonates. I'm telling you that's what this is. Don't force it. Show me more of your probably situation, please. Spirit said, we don't talk about, look, okay, yeah, see, whoever this person is, they, 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 this person is, could be sending negative energy your way here. This person tried to be you. This is, remember Spirit said earlier, um, where is that card? You are protected, right? Didn't we see that? You are protected, okay? You are safe and divinely protected. So if this karmic is sending you negative energy, get you some Palo Santo, so get you some sage or whatever, but I still feel like you're protected, so it doesn't even matter what this person does. But this person's like a snake in the grass is what they are. Look at this brainstorm, needing ideas, trying to figure something out, problem solving. Hmm. Yeah. Either your divine masculine is trying to figure out how they can run away and have this conversation with you. They're trying to figure out how they can get themselves out, themselves out of a situation that they put themselves in ultimately. Um, or this is this karmic trying to figure out why the magic and the spells that they've been working and using and doing try, against the divine feminine is not working. It's not working. It's not working because it's not going to work. Okay. The divine feminine, hello, the empress is protected. The Empress is not even concerned about what the hell is going on over here with this third party, this karmic, okay? I, so, like, whatever. I Y'all, these karmics get on my nerves sometimes. What else do we have here? Of course it's not going to work. Dirty offer. Look at this. And family time. So there's some situation here where somebody could have a family, okay? So just be careful, you know what I mean? But that's your update, you guys. The Zodiac signs we saw here, everybody's really here, okay? Everybody's really here. We had Scorpio, we had Taurus, we have um, Cancer. What else do we have? Cancer, Cancer, the world fixed sign energy, okay? Love you guys. Bye.